What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Infinifactory. Now, for those of you who don't know, Infinifactory is kind of a puzzle slash factory building game that we've played a long time ago on the channel, but we haven't beaten the game yet. So I decided to get back into it and beat it. And mainly the game consists of really three sort of scoring metrics. You wanna make each one of your factories use the least amount of parts, take up the least amount of space, and also take the least time to complete the challenge. But I was going through the Steam achievements and I saw this one achievement that really encouraged us to make a super inefficient factory, and that is to complete a puzzle in 10,000 cycles. Now, to put that in perspective, we can go back and you can see we're almost done. We've pretty much beaten all the Overlord campaign and then some of the Resistance campaign, but if we look at some of the previous puzzles, I think this is the last one we did, and this was only 875 cycles. So we have to make something that takes 10,000 cycles to run. All right, so just like with every Infinifactory puzzle, we start with something. So uh, we get this wall of stuff, and I guess we have to turn it into that wall of stuff. Um, these look like, I guess these paint. These must be painters. That's got to be like they've got nozzles, and you just have to paint white on one side, and then this red sort of plus. All right, so this should be pretty easy to do. I mean, I feel like all we really need is conveyors, uh, maybe some rotators, and... Uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. We're just going to need a lot of conveyors, maybe some lifters at some point. So we're just going to start taking the product out. And I mean, we need a, this needs to be inefficient. So let's start here. Let's just go this way. And then when you, you know what, when you get to the end, you'll go that way and then you'll come back this way. And then we can go this way again. And you know, we'll have to repeat this. All right. So I think that's off to a good start. So when we get to over here. We just got to rotate it, paint it white, and then kind of paint a red plus on it but i feel like these are three stacked high so we just have to kind of slide it across it this challenge is actually really really easy because all we really have to do with this challenge is just run a bunch of conveyors and pass the block by it we don't even have to do any assembling which you know most challenges you have to do some sort of weird assembly type thing i mean in this we're we're literally just painting i mean i feel like that's got to be good this is going to be very painful to test we can fast forward how many cycles are we even at are we even at a hundred Oh my goodness. Okay, well that, this is, okay. This is going well. Um, why isn't that rotating? Isn't that supposed to, isn't that supposed to rotate? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is like, okay, perfect. Great. Up. Oh yeah, perfect. Per okay, and then once we get to the roof, it'll then hit this conveyor piece, which will then push it over and have it fall down here, uh, where it can get hit by another one of these things into another lifter and we can repeat that process and just kind of stack a bunch of stuff we're just going to repeat the same pattern uh, i think we need one more uh, this is amazing this is going to be the best factory i mean we're going to have at least like a hundred products on the line we only have to build 10 so we can do this super efficiently but i mean i got to get that 10,000 cycle achievement so this i feel like this waterfall this is going to look great oh yeah that's that looks amazing that's just a huge waste of time. How much are we at? 240, 250, 270. We're not even at 1,000 yet. Oh my goodness. The game is lagging from all the stuff going on. How are you supposed to get the 10,000 achievement without killing your game? Wait, hold on. This is a phenomenal waste of space without all those lifters. Oh, we can, we can just... Hold on. We can just stack. That's even better. Okay, so let's just do this. We just get rid of all these, right? We only have the one lifter and the one conveyor and this should just stack a whole ton of objects until we get all the way over to here and then we'll just have a bunch that are wasted here and aren't actually doing anything so i think this will work nothing said we had to use every product that we spawn so this just means like the first you know i don't know 50 of them that you spawn are literally going to do nothing see they're just making stacks and then it'll push the next one over each time and then make a bunch more useless stacks. You can see, look at this. We're actually going to make a staircase almost, kind of. Oh, no, just that one lip. Never mind. So we're wasting like four or five per row. And then we just stack more. And eventually it'll get to here. But we've wasted hopefully like a thousand cycles by this point. And then we'll just have to do another giant wasted stack of material. All right, so once we've painted it, we just got to bring it here. Uh, get it out of the way. And then... Do another lifter stack again, I think, and just lift it up here, stack a bunch of them all the way over to the red, and then repeat, send it across the red to paint the one line in the middle, and then we'll have to do something else to kind of get it to go around. So I think that'll be the next spot. 
And this should this should be good to go there. So now uh, we should have a line of painted ones as well. I I don't even think we're at a thousand cycles yet. Like I don't know how you're supposed to waste ten thousand cycles in a single factory. That's absolutely insane. That's so many. Like we're we're at one ninety. What if I actually? I guess you know what we could do if we slow down the spawn rate. This will just take a lot longer to fill. Perfect. We're forming the white stack now. Look at that. I mean, this is the frame rate is just getting worse and worse every time. I think maybe is that because I got time acceleration? No, that's actually just because of the number of objects. This is going to be brutal. How are you? I don't understand. 10,000 with, I guess, once we slow down the input rate, it's still going to be a lot of objects. It's still going to take forever. The frame rate is actually getting worse than I've seen in this game ever. And we're not even, we're only at a thousand cycles now. You know what? This is actually good, though. We're at a 1,000 cycles at the fastest input speed. So at the slowest input speed, we should be maybe at a couple thousand by this point, maybe three or four. Um, it, It's going to be brutal. All right, we've got this done. We're going to paint them. It's going to come across. It paints that line. This is extremely laggy. This is so ridiculous. Okay, you know what? For now, for testing, this is what we'll do. Just to, Just to make this easier... We'll just put a line of conveyor here and we'll remove it afterwards. Same thing with this one. We'll just put a line of conveyor like that. So again, it'll flip the first one over and that way we can test it. So when we get here, uh, we got to go up and then we got to go and rotate or we got to rotate and then go up one or the other. So it took a little bit of thinking, but I feel like this is the solution to get this part painted. I mean, we could probably do it a different way with some timing and stuff, but we we'll just we'll paint the one and then it loops around and we'll rotate and then we lift it up. And then sometimes, you know, you just got to build stuff up on the roof. So we'll just rotate it over here and then bring it across and hopefully drop it down straight, which then we'll paint that vertical line because we'll just kind of drop it in front of it. Bring that off, put a lifter here, and then go straight up. Uh, we can't go above that, actually, because there's stuff going to be there. So we'd have to put the conveyor piece here. And then there we go. We should be able to make another sort of inefficient stack section here. Uh, this way? There we go. And then that'll stack up, stack up, stack up until we get to that point where the last one will just ride its way in. So let's just make sure we can actually build a product here. Now, we're at full spawning rate. So they're spawning one right after the other. And we'll see how many cycles this takes. And then we'll slow it down to the lowest cycle rate. And actually, we have to remove these sections as well. Because you can see it's, it's still running them across there. So we don't want that. We want to get rid of that. And hopefully, we'll have a big stack of blanks, a big stack of white painted ones, and then a big stack of fully completed ones. We've also got a little mini stack here just to get them up there. What an inefficient elevator. It's amazing. All right, so that one goes. And these should be fully painted. Yeah, perfect. And they'll stack up nicely. No, they're stuck. Why are... Why are... Where is there a jam up? There's a jam up over here. Oh, they can't... They can't rotate because this stack's in the way. Is that... Is that what 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 happened here maybe it'll work at the slower input rate let's just slow it down and try it sometimes stuff is different when you make it more inefficient there's gonna be less parts falling here so maybe it'll have enough of a gap you know you can see they're not spawning nearly as frequently and it seems to work it looks like there's a gap here so the one comes down and gets painted before the one rotates so let's just make sure that we actually count this as a completed puzzle we haven't missed something but i think i think it's okay uh, and then this will just keep stacking up. Actually, this is never going to fit because this bar is going to interfere. So we need to put... Okay, we need another conveyor here. And then we actually should be good to go. So let's just remove these and remove these. And now we should be on our way to getting that 10,000 cycle achievement. We're going to stack up a bunch of blanks here. We're going to stack up a bunch of white painted ones here. And then we'll stack up a little bit of finished ones here. And hopefully... Hangar 9 will be the 10,000 achievement. So I'm just going to hold the F key here just to make sure that it runs as fast as possible. But I'm probably also going to time lapse this footage. Because, I mean, this is just absolutely insane. This is 1,000 cycles. We're at 100 now. And, oh, no, sorry, not 1,000 cycles. 10,000 cycles. And, I mean, I mean, we'll see how many it takes, I guess, once we've stacked up all the objects. The problem is we only need to make 10 products. So once those three stacks have filled... The products are going to be rolling off really, really quickly because it just kind of pushes the next one off the stack. Hopefully, the stacks will take long enough to fill that we don't have an issue. This one, like, we need this first stack to take 5,000 to fill, and I don't even think it's going to take that long. It'll be maybe 1,000 if we're lucky. When this one fills, we can move on and watch this next one fill, and, I mean, this is the most boring factory. We've got a ton of space over here, though, 
on these sort of elevator things. I don't think they do anything. No, they don't. But we could probably fit more storage somewhere. I mean, we could definitely fit more storage at the beginning here. Instead of doing this conveyor S thing, we could just do another storage stack of blanks in case we don't have the space. But we'll see. Hopefully we have enough. And uh, we're at 1.1k now. This is looking good. This one, if it takes like 3k to do this first stack and another 3k for this second stack, it's not going to take 3k for that. You know, this might not even be 10,000. This might be a phenomenal waste of time. We're getting to the last row of this first one. Only 2,000 cycles. This kind of has me concerned. I feel like this isn't enough. It's not going to be enough because this one is probably about the same size as that one. That'll be another 2,000 cycles. I think we have to make this whole front area just store more stuff. I feel like we can use this space as well. So now we've got another super inefficient storage stack up in this section. So hopefully that'll also help kind of, you know, take extra time. But we'll just have to run this again to test it. It is a very, very, very painful testing process. Um, but you can see here, look at that. Perfect. Just right up there. Run it over and we'll just create a stack here. This will hopefully waste a, at least a thousand cycles, maybe a thousand cycles on that stack. A couple thousand there, a couple thousand here. I mean, I feel like we're getting there. We're getting really close to that 10,000 limit. This is insane. We could really do this puzzle in about 10 seconds if we actually just tried to not store all these extra blocks. Worst case scenario, I feel like we're just going to use those two elevators over there and add a bunch more storage of parts at some point in time if we absolutely have to. I'm hoping we can get this done because this has already taken up a lot of space. But you can see a thousand cycles in this stack, which is good, means this next one should also take a thousand cycles. So that's 2,000 right away. I think this one was another 2,000. That one's probably going to be 2,000. That one maybe a thousand. It's going to be close. It's, you know, it might only get to like seven or 8,000 to be perfectly honest. We're finally going to get product here, I think, that's going to come down just like that rotate perfect drop and hopefully that's out of the way enough i really hope that doesn't yeah perfect they can rotate right next to it amazing and we'll create another little stack here blocking the window but that's okay awesome so we're at like 2100 cycles i'm feeling okay about this i mean i don't know we'll see how far we are after this next stack here fills but 2200 cycles we're not oh what is this mess oh this is some hot garbage so i think this is it in terms of the ultimate inefficient factory i've added a few sections i got rid of this lift section in front of the window that was just it just kept getting screwed up because it was kind of hitting this shelf so that's just a flat section of wasted space we'll store a bunch of stuff here a bunch of stuff here a bunch of stuff here and then a bunch of stuff in this one elevator shaft here. And hopefully that will be enough. Now, I'm also realizing just now I'm kind of dumb because we could have just made this super inefficient by simply putting a piston here that blocks this initial path and only allows one block to go by every like 200 or 300 or 400 cycles just to make it even slower than the input rate they give us. Because if you block something from spawning, it won't spawn. So we could put a piston with just a really big timing loop. But we're going to run this out. We'll see if we get 10,000 cycles. And if we're just short or we just can't do it, then uh, we'll just put a piston here and delay the spawning even more so it's an even slower input rate. But I think this should get us really close to that 10,000 cycles. I mean, we could have built this with just like five parts and had a stupid long delay. Just been like, delay this for 9,999 cycles um, somehow and then just had a single part. That, that would have been the other way to do it. But... Hopefully this works. I mean, this is just ridiculous. We're just stacking items. Blocks are rolling off this initial section at around 2,000 cycles. So that's pretty good. And then, of course, this fills up. And we should be close to 5,000 cycles maybe when this is done filling or maybe 4,000. Um, I'm not sure. Again, we would save so many frames and so many parts if we just had a really, really long delay on the spawner but i mean everything is obviously better in hindsight and i can't believe i didn't think of that earlier we could have literally just put a giant line of conveyors with a single block on it that passes by a sensor and only when the sensor activates it lets the next thing go by so it takes you know a hundred cycles to spawn a single block rather than spawning a block every i don't know how many it is but it, it seems to be spawning it pretty quickly uh, and we could definitely slow that down. This is so brutal. I literally have to hold F the entire time. I think I'm just going to tape my keyboard at this point because I, my finger is starting to hurt. I've been holding F for at least like five, six minutes now. And we're only at 3,000 cycles. This is going to be like a 20 minute puzzle just to get through 10,000 cycles. And I, I guarantee if we're short, I'm going to be so sad. If we're 
short by just like a thousand at the very end. I'm going to be very, very sad. We're literally just going to fill this whole warehouse up. I'm also realizing too, we could put another stack here somehow if we really had to, but I mean, hopefully this is just enough. I'm feeling really good though. We're close to 4,000 cycles. This one's about to fall off. We'll see if it goes in. Perfect. Oh, excellent. And we're making a new stack in there. I mean, I don't know. It seems like we might actually be able to, to get this to suck. It also seems too, if I stand over here and I stare at the wall, I get a much better frame rate. So, I, I mean, there's just, if I stand here, the frame rate, it kind of dies. You know, I'm not feeling so confident anymore. We're only like halfway done. 5,000 cycles. We need 10,000. And we've only got one stack left. And there's no way this last stack... Good, we still actually paint them all. That's that's good. But there's no way this last stack of painted ones is going to be... Is going to be 5,000 on its own. That's it's not going to happen. Yeah, so we're almost about ready to actually start producing products here. You can see this next one. And then the next one that comes up here... It's going to go over and look at that. It spawns and just, that's it. Wow. I was holding fast forward and I realized it doesn't actually make a difference. The lag is so bad. Look, fast forward, regular speed. Fast forward, it, it there's actually no difference anymore. Well, that's impressive. We are finally beating it though. Three, two, and one. Two left. Yeah, 7,500 cycles. Just not enough. I love how the graph maxes out at two and a half thousand. They don't even have the dignity of showing where I am and only 500 on the footprint score. Mind you, we're not even the worst block scores, surprisingly. So really to do this, it's pretty easy. We just have the blocks here. They'll spawn and they'll come out and they'll get stuck against this block and they can't push through the block so they can't go anywhere and any new ones that spawn will just get stuck here. And then we've got a piston here. Now this piston will activate on this sensor and this is a counter sensor which only triggers after you've gone through so we can adjust this but right now it's set to nine so that means that block has to do nine passes of the sensor there before it'll actually activate this piston once which is just going to delay the entire spawn and then when that one goes it'll go up and, and blah 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 and do the same thing as before yeah i mean at this rate we're gonna take like this is only four blocks and we're already at almost a thousand cycles okay so this should work no problem but this is the absolute extreme end of things. I mean, two is just barely not enough. You know what? Let's just set this. Let's actually change this to maybe just like a four. All right. So we're just going to let this one run. And while it runs, I'm probably just going to go maybe make myself a sandwich. Because I feel like this is going to run for the next like two, three hours. But don't worry. You guys won't have to watch it. I mean, I've got nothing better to do than let my computer run for an hour just to get a single Steam achievement. But I'm hoping this is going to do it. If this doesn't do it this time... I really don't know what will. We're already going to be at 10,000 before we even fill up this stack here. And then we've got that stack to go and then that stack. So it's going to be a while, but I think we've definitely made the most inefficient factory possible. Now, that being said, we literally could have done the entire thing with just a sensor here and a longer loop for this block. So it just takes forever to send a single piece out. We really just could have timed it so that one piece comes out every thousand cycles and it would have been fine. But I mean, you know what? It's a learning experience, and we've learned how to make more inefficient factories for the future. But in the meantime, we're just gonna let this run out the rest of the way and uh, see what our final ultimate cycle score actually is. So as it turns out, we kind of overshot by a lot. I feel like we could have done three or maybe just two with a longer track. I mean, we're almost at the end of this stack here. This stack's a really small one, so it shouldn't take too long. We have almost no frames left, but I mean, we're at 14,000 cycles and we only needed 10. I mean, that's when, of course, we go through the Steam achievement list and find one that says 100,000 cycles, at which point in time I'll probably just uninstall the game. All right, we should be almost done here. Three more. It takes so long in between each one and the game is unbelievably laggy, but uh, you know what? It's okay. We're going to get this. We're going to get that achievement. 17,000 cycles. That's absolutely ridiculous. I'm definitely never going to build a lengthy factory again. This is absolutely insane. There we go. Look at that. Best was 7,500. 17,000 now. Absolutely amazing. 171 and 650. Perfect. Off the charts on everything. We're doing absolutely great. And we got that amazing Steam achievement for 10,000 cycles. 16,954. Epic. I do want to finish the rest of Infinity Factory, so I am going to get into that. But I think for the rest of the puzzle, we're not going to try and maximize the cycles. Maybe we'll do something a little bit different than that, but I'm not exactly sure yet. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
and we'll see y'all next time.